Good morning, everyone. Uh, we'll be discussing today OFDMA and OFDMA, OFDM and OFDMA technology, and uh, why we are using this in LT. What are the advantages and disadvantages of this technology? And uh, so, to start with, we should have a basic understanding like how the radio frame of LT, how it looks. Then we can understand it. So I would say the OFTM is a modulation multiplexing scheme and OFTMA is a result of that. It's a, a corresponding multi-access technology which is used in the downlink of LT transmission. So a radio frame is normally 10 millisecond long. This is the radio frame, this is the time domain I have written here. So one radio frame is consist of it, it's 10 millisecond long and one sub frame is one millisecond long. So in one millisecond we are having two slots each slot having 0.5 millisecond and in the frequency domain we are having 15 kilohertz sub carriers. So a minimum uh, stuff that is sent by the uh, scheduler in the downlink by the node V scheduler is a uh, you know uh, scheduling block. One scheduling block in one TTI consists of two resource blocks. So I have written here. So in every one millisecond we transmit this minimum data. Two resource blocks, each having 0.5 millisecond. I have explained here. So 2.5 millisecond slots make a 1 millisecond subframe and 10 1 millisecond subframe makes one radio frame of 10 millisecond. So a scheduling block is a two resource block having 0.5 and 0.5 millisecond and uh, it depends what cyclic prefix we are using when it comes to symbols. So we are having this way. 15 kilohertz into 12, 12 sub carriers each having 15 kilohertz frequency here, this one, the frequency domain and the time domain. So, in OFDMA we are having a solution between the symbols. For the inter-symbol interference we use cyclic prefix. So in case of normal cyclic prefix, we are having 7 symbols in one resource block into 12 sub carriers. So it would be 84 resource elements so I have explained one symbol here so in case of normal cyclic prefix the first symbol is 5.1 microseconds cyclic prefix and the exact symbol timing is 66.7 microseconds from second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh except the first one the cyclic prefix would be 4.7 and 66.7 correspondingly when we use extended cyclic prefix, it, this would not be 7, it would be 6 and 12 subcarriers. So that would be 72 resource elements and one symbol is explained here like this. The cyclic prefix would be 16.7 microseconds and the symbol timing remains the same, 66.7. We are having another type of cyclic prefix that is 33.3 and that is used uh, when you are using multicast broadcast services MBMS so there are uh, sub carrier would be 7.5 kilohertz but we are not discussing that here right now so this is uh, how the OFTMA works, you can see user 1, user 2, user 3, user 4, we use particular frequency in a particular time. But in OFTMA, we can use the resources as per the requirement. We have a very intact resource uh, utilization, that's why you have better spectral efficiency. So, so I have drawn it, like let's say uh, this is the frequency, this is the time domain. 
So in frequency domain, this 1, 2, 3, 4 have scheduled for user 4 from the bandwidth. This 2 I have scheduled for user 1. Here it's an order. It's an it's a orderly fashion. User 1, user 2, user 3, user 4. Here I can use anywhere I can schedule the users actually. So OFTMA is the modulation multiplexing scheme and this scheme is correspondingly we have used in the downlink of LTE as a multiple access te technique and uh, what all advantages of OFTMA one is uh, we are having orthogonal subcarriers which is achieved by IAFT operations in the baseband we'll be seeing what is IAFT in the in the further classes secondly due to the 15 kilohertz subcarrier uh, we are having better spectral efficiency and better utilization of the spectrum. Thirdly, we have auto link adaptation. So we do adapt links every one millisecond.